When creating a new Facebook business page for your business, there are four essential things that I see a lot of business owners get wrong or forget about entirely. So today I'm covering four things your Facebook page needs to have to be successful. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brandy with Life Marketing, the digital marketing agency with a mission to help small businesses grow. Real quick, like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of the marketing videos we put out every week that can help you grow your business. All right, so let's dive in with the first thing your Facebook page needs to have. A consistent username and display name. Your username and display name are not the same things, but they do need to match. Your page name is your display name here, and your username is what you're at handle says. Your username is also what determines your Facebook page URL. On desktop, look at your profile icon in the top right corner and tap it to ensure that you're acting as your page, not your personal profile. Then go to facebook.com slash settings, question mark, tab equals profile. And on this screen, make sure both names reflect your business name and are the same thing. It should also be consistent with your name and usernames on other platforms. If you type in life marketing on any social media platform, you'll find us. But it would be confusing and disruptive to our branding if we were life marketing on Facebook, LM Digital Agency on Instagram, Life Digital Marketing on Twitter, and so on. Brand consistency is crucial for brand recall and brand recall is crucial for sales. So make sure you're setting yourself up for success right from the start with a consistent name and display name. The second thing your Facebook page needs to do is make it easy to contact you. In this day and age, the idea that someone doesn't become your customer because they can't figure out how to get in touch with you is unacceptable. Make sure your Facebook page about info includes your phone number and email as well as a link to your website. You'll also wanna set up your action button if you haven't already. So looking at your business page, tap the three dots on the right hand side and click edit action button. From there, you can choose from a plethora of options. We have ours set to contact us with a link to the contact page on our website because that's the easiest way to get in touch with us. You'll want to choose the contact method that makes it easiest for your customers to actually communicate with you. Don't set your action button to link out to a contact form that you never check. And the last thing you can do to optimize your business page for communication is to set up automated messenger replies. A lot of customers feel more comfortable Facebook messaging a newer business or brand that they've not really heard of before instead of calling or emailing them. Facebook provides a sense of security in that way. Facebook says setting up automated responses through Facebook Messenger is a great way to keep your audience engaged while also saving you some much needed time. You can do things like say hi to someone after they first message you, respond to common questions, customize messages to provide quick answers to people asking for contact info or the location of your business, or ask your audience for feedback. And here are some of the examples they give, such as an away message, an instant reply, an application received message, and so on. To turn on and edit automatic responses, go to the Facebook section of Creator Studio, select Inbox, select Automated Responses, toggle any of the automatic response options on or off. After selecting an option, click the blue Edit Message button to customize its automated response. Here you can customize things like timing, when the message is sent after being triggered, personalization, dynamically include the person's name, and images, videos, and buttons. All right, the third thing your Facebook business page needs to have is a cohesive profile picture and cover photo. These two things are so easy to mess up, but thankfully so easy to fix. Your profile photo should be your business logo, period. I've seen too many business owners wanna sacrifice clarity for cleverness, or what they think is cleverness, and they make their business page profile photo a picture of something that doesn't really represent their business, or at the very least, isn't obvious to the customer who is discovering your brand for the first time. If you own a pet store, for example, don't make the profile photo a picture of your dog. Make it your business logo. If you own a restaurant, don't make your profile photo a picture of your beautifully plated entree make it your business logo. Similar to what we discussed in point number one, in the beginning stages of building a business, branding is everything. People don't know who you are yet and you're not doing yourself any favors by making it harder for them to remember you. Make your profile photo your logo. Now for your cover photo, you've got a little bit more leeway. You can upload a photo or video, but either way you'll wanna make it branded in your colors and fonts and you'll want it to fit within the dimensions and be visible no matter if you're looking at it on desktop or mobile view. You'll also want it to speak directly to your customer's goals or pain points. We're using ours to point people to our YouTube channel, but we're still speaking directly to our customers with the message, 
marketing that drives sales because people that come to us want a marketing plan that works and actually accomplishes their goal of driving sales. If you need help creating your cover photo, Jelly has a great video on it here. I'll link it below. Now, before we get into my last point, I do wanna say that we know firsthand how overwhelming it can be to operate a small business, especially if you're a newer business. So if you'd rather professionals come in and handle your digital marketing for you so you can focus on what you do best while still seeing leads and sales begin to roll in, I'll put our contact link below so you can schedule a call with us. The last thing your Facebook business page needs to have is a completed service list or product page. Earlier, we talked about having your about section filled out so that people can contact you. It's also important to have your offerings filled out so people can buy from you. We are a service-based business, so we have all of our services listed out. If you sell products, you can host a product catalog natively on Facebook. These products can link to the product page on your website for customers to check out there, or you can set it up for people to check out right there within Facebook. Either way, you wanna treat your Facebook business page as the Facebook version of your website. Whatever information, offers, and resources you have on your website should also be available on your Facebook business page. By doing this, you're minimizing the steps they have to take to become a customer, thus making it easier for your Facebook followers to become customers. Please like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell if you found this video helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.